Hey everybody, this is Denny. And this is James from TDB. Uh, and so uh, today uh, we have a tea from Tea Urchin, um, the Iwu Beauty. Um, so this is one, a tea that I've had a couple times and I've enjoyed it. And uh, I've been really, uh, you know, Rapur has a reputation, especially young Rapur, being mm -hmm. a little bit harsh on the stomach. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of been like your experience and my experience to some extent as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but I find that it's very dependent on the tea. And sure. so this is a tea that I personally haven't had issues with, and I think it could be a good young raw pour uh, that could be enjoyed now. Cool. Cool. And you know what? I've been drinking more raw, and some of it has been young, and some of it's been because of the show. Some of it's been digging through my catalog of just an, a never-ending buckets of packages of tea. Um, but I'm not that I wasn't into raw, but I'm coming around more to it. Interestingly enough, it's getting hotter and hotter, which seems to be the wrong time to do that. I feel like most raws that I have are warming, although not always, yeah. interestingly enough. so Young raw has a reputation for being more on the cooling side of the spectrum. Huh, interesting. Want to have a smell? Yep. Wow. Hmm. Very floral. Yeah. It smells great. Very, <clears throat> very sweet aroma. Yeah, very ar aromatic. It still has that gasoline -y. you know, that's one thing that, it's like, even no matter what you're doing, if you're going to be drinking a green oolong, it's going to taste somewhat like a green oolong. And there are those weird category benders like um, Oriental Beauty is one that I could think of, but for the most part, you know, a raw is going to taste like a raw, ripe is going to taste like a ripe, and so forth. Yeah, this is sort of like a base taste there yeah. that you're going to get every time. Exactly. And so I think I'm just getting more comfortable with that just general spectrum of flavor. And as a result, the, the subtleties of that and the nuances, I can appreciate a lot more. So yeah. I'm coming around to it, but it's taken a while. Yeah, let's have a smell. Yep. Mm, a little bit more hay -y. A little bit more... Yeah. And like that sort of like hay grain, I, f I find that that's often sort of like the base in these really barley, young raws. Barley a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And this is a, so this is a 2014, so it's had a little bit of time. I would tell, say that in comparison to sort of that hay grain taste, this smells a lot sweeter, sort of like a candied sweetness a little bit. <laughs> All right, I think that may have been the description, so I might be just reiterating what I've already seen, but yeah. Whatever. Cheers. Cheers, guys. really sweet. It ha it does, it's very light still, but it doesn't have a lot of that, you know, coincidentally, ironically enough, it doesn't have a lot of that super raw flavor that I was talking about just now. No. Um, it's it in the smell, though. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, interestingly enough, but it's it's sweet. It's a little floral. It's got a very clean mm. profile to it's really it. really good. Actually, yeah. It's light. So, Soft. And you only rinse this once. Um... And I know, was this, this wasn't Malcha, was it? Uh, no, it was okay, not. Okay, so it just was already prepared. Yeah, it was broken up. Okay. Yeah, so. Got it. Um, but, I mean, speaking to that a little bit, we have a lot of just gorgeous whole leaves yeah. here. Uh, relatively unbroken. Yeah, no, definitely. Just Qualities look great. Yeah. And there's no sediment or any, like, gooey yeah. stuff. So we can see the color of it is developing a little bit more, a little bit darker in comparison to the first brew. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So, still got a really nice soft body um, to it, which I find to be very uh, pleasant. Yeah, a little bit more of a honey sweetness for me. Um, more of that um, hanging out in the garden sweetness. Totally agree there. But it's, it's light, it's balanced. It's not, it tastes like a raw pour, but hardly. It's interesting. This is, mm -hmm. yeah. I, want, I wonder what this will be like 
in 10 years, what, do you think that this has to do with the region it's coming from? You know, a lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with the base material. This yeah. is supposedly from Gushu or big trees of some sort. Uh, and so, I mean, it's clear to me that the base material is, is supplying a lot of the pleasure here. Like, obviously, if we're drinking a young, like, big factory production, it'd be a lot less pleasant, mm -hmm. um, just kind of off the cuff. But... To answer your question more, I don't know how this is going to be in 10 years. Like, if I bought this, I would probably buy it to drink. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good right now. And I, I wonder. I wonder what it would be like. Because yeah. it doesn't seem like it needs to cool down from anything, really. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And you would expect it to, I guess, well, as it gets darker... Uh, usually, what you're trying to do when you're aging the teas is to sort of, like, get that astringency out of it, mm -hmm. some of that bitterness will age into more interesting characteristics, and, you know, there's just not much yeah. of that yet, but I push this steep a little bit more, so be much darker. maybe there will be some astringency here, let's see, I mean, it's very, I consider it kind of a plus uh, to have, especially if I'm trying to buy tea that I don't plan to drink immediately, mm -hmm. to have some proper astringency there. Okay, it's got a little bit of astringent character yeah. to it. But it's still really nice. And how's the tea sitting in uh, your, uh, the mouth? How's the aftertaste? It's really pleasant. It's not, um, there's like no puckering vibe, so it doesn't have that like tanniny as much. Um, it's got a nice light texture. It's got so has this like really nice like lasting flavor. Now more that raw, I think because of the longer steaming, that rawness is coming out a bit more. Yeah. And that's that flavor is a strong flavor that's just kind of covering my palate. Um, but it's this is really nice, warming. I'm sweating. It is a rather warm day as well. All right, we will do one last one. Yeah, it's got that that like chewy bitterness to it um, that I like out of a, a raw pour. Um, and good energy. Oh, it's good. I'm enjoying this. You know, I think I think that the first couple of steepings were light and the texture and flavor was representative of that. We're getting now into kind of the meat of the steepings here a little bit. Yep. I think that it'll come back. Um, I'm not sure, but I would think that it would come back to those lighter notes um, in the 8th, 12th kind of steeping range. Yeah, mm, let's have another smell. And this is full of leaf. No idea how much mm. leaf you're using, do you? Uh, about 5 grams for 70 milliliters, so uh, pretty standard for me. It's, it's a fair amount of leaf. Some people use more, but it tends to be on the higher end. This is great. I yeah. get a little bit of like an herbal, more of an herbal something. Yeah, yeah, especially in the aroma, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. There's this fruit something I can't put my finger on. Um, that's nice. I'm surprised at how sweet this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised at how sweet this is. And when is this a tea that you think would be friendly towards uh, new people? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think of, of the, the young um, poor that we brought on the show, this is one of the smoothest that we've had. Um, and Definitely. lightest. Even now, it's still, it's not like... It's got a very bright taste. Yeah, yeah. crisp is maybe a better word. Um, like the bright, body is, st it's still there. It's got a body. It's there, yeah. it's for sure. Yeah. Um, it's not light, light. Uh, I don't know. Like a green tea. A green tea. Yeah. yeah, it's it's more. There's more texture, but still, it's got that crispness. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. enjoying this. Um, I would recommend this to almost anyone. Frankly, I think this would be a, a solid. I don't know. I have a hard time imagining myself doing a daily drink for raw poor, so I couldn't really comment on that very well, but. Um, this is really accessible. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think it's very seasonally appropriate for sort of like the spring summer season that we're in, um, just with those really crisp flavors. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So where could someone find out more about tea? I don't know. Cut. Um, 
<laughs> uh, check us out on tdv.org. Uh, that's on the internet for you folks who don't have the internet. Uh, if you don't have the internet, how are you watching this? That's a that's an interesting question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you did you buy the DVD at Blockbuster? <laughs> Plug. <laughs> Welcome to 1999. <laughs> And subscribe uh, <laughs> down there, I think. And uh, um, check us out on our website, newsletter. We have an Instagram feed on the sidebar. Subscribe to that. Um, and, yeah, check us out for more episodes on tdb.org. And until next time, guys, yeah. cheers. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>